Hello, here is a video where I'm going to show you how to use logic from absolute scratch. So when you start a new project, this is what you do. Here's a desktop. You can see that logic is open, but there's no windows there. So let's do something about that. Go to file, go to new. This window comes up. It gives you a variety of different choices, um, but I would like you to just start an empty project. This is what you get. It asks you what new tracks would you like to create? And uh, there are choices again. I would like you to create a software instrument and the number of tracks, just one for now. Now, for some reason, it always creates an electric piano, first of all. Um, but we can easily change that by going over here to the library. And we will go to drums and percussion, acoustic drum kit. And you have a choice. I will go for indie kit. Now the sounds of the keyboard are those of a drum kit. So there's a few things here in this arrange window uh, which are useful to know. The first thing is that over here we have a pointer tool and a crossfade tool. I'm going to change this to pencil. And what that means is that when I press command, it's like a right click on Windows. It brings up the pencil tool, which is really useful. I'm going to create a region. Double click that. There's the piano roll. Now it's completely empty. I've not actually entered any musical information yet. One more thing to do here is to change the playback loop. Right now it's four bars long, but I'll just bring that down to one bar. And that means that the playback cursor will just go round and round just the one bar. Now the piano roll is one of the most important things that you need to get to grips with to understand how to sequence in logic. Let's bring up the piano roll and make it nice and big so we can see it clearly. Here's a shortcut. Hold command and press six. And there is the piano roll. These are the sounds of the drum kit. And these lines here are all about the rhythm, the time that it takes to play each sound. Now, right now, it's divided into 16 different parts per bar. I'm going to make that a little more simple. I'll go down here to what we call the transport bar, and it says 16. Now, I'm going to drag that down to 4. When I let go, the piano roll will disappear. but I can bring it back by pressing command and six. Now here you see four very clear lines in the bar. Those are the beats of the bar. I'm gonna put a kick drum, which is C1, on every beat of the bar. Very easy to do. You just press command, you get the pencil tool, and you put a beat in, on, every beat. Nice and easy. We can add also a snare drum. Snare drums in most music comes on the two and the four. The snare drum you'll find on D1 or E1. E1 is a bit heavier so we're going to put it on there. Ah uh, yes. And here's the beat. Very simple, we need to add something extra. The hi-hat, a nice closed hi-hat on F-sharp one. Um, but I can only see the quarter notes. One, two, three, four. I need to make the view in the piano roll a little bit more complicated. Here's how I do that. I go back down to where it says four in the transport bar and I drag it up to say eight. 
Got to get that right. That changes the view, Command and 6. OK, there's now slightly more faint lines in, and I can put hi-hats with the pencil tool. OK, so here is my beat so far. You remember that when we opened this, it had sixteenths. So let's go down here to sixteenths. Go from eight, go up through twelve to sixteen. You can see the grid change. Now, oh, it's very, got to get that absolutely right. Let go at the right place. Sixteen, there we go. Command and six to bring that window back. Now I can make my beat a little bit more interesting by putting in some sixteenth notes with the pencil tool. Put some more hi-hats in and maybe another snare drum over here. So that's how you open Logic from scratch and use the piano roll to make a very simple drum beat.